I'm just heading down to the uh, food forest and just give you a quick look at where I want to put my new arbor. So if I swing you around, that is how we are doing so far. We've got some of the borders in. We're starting to put uh, bracken, mulch and uh, horse manure and straw to rot down in the border. But at the moment I'm thinking over this here to put the arbor across here next to Bogie's resting place. So I'm going to show you how to build an arbor for about 30 quid. So that's today's project. So let's go build an arbor. In July 2021, with the increase in travel restrictions caused by Brexit and the pandemic, we decided to buy off-grid land in Portugal to live a more sustainable lifestyle. Follow along with our journey as we turn our beautiful but derelict land into our very own slice of off-grid heaven. Wildlands. So I've got four one and a half metre poles and then a shorter one. So the set of four are going to be the two poles either side of the arbour. And the shorter one is going to be the top of the apex roof. And then previously we bought loads of these trellis slats. Um, and that's going to form the trellising at the side and on the roof of the arbour. So cost wise I paid two euros eighty for the long poles and two euros thirty for the short poles. So give or take that's about ten pounds in UK money. And the trellis slats over here were thirteen euros for about thirty of them. So again that's about tenner. So we're looking at a few screws and about 20 quid's worth of wood to get ourselves an arbor built. So I'm just going to screw all the uh, upright trellis pieces in. So we should have this finished in a couple of hours. Uh, just problem solving as we go, not doing any measuring, just doing it by eye. And it's a very simple and easy way to make yourself an arbor. So that's all the side trellises screwed. So if you have a closer look along the top and the bottom, I've screwed every one. And then in the centre sections, every other hole. So one hole missing, screw, missing, screw and then the opposing, so where there's a screw there missing, no screw, screw. There we go, so that's both sections done. So now I'm going to work out the apex height, or the roof of the arbour. So I've got the central pole of the roof, which I've laid out on the floor, which is how wide the walls would be apart, and then I can use that to work out the angle of the roof. So this pole here, that one, that is the width of the sides from left to right. So if I get a piece of wood like this and hold it at an angle, I can then move it up or down to get the height that I like. And then I can cut the frame accordingly. So for example, there's my width. And there's two random length poles, that's probably a little bit too tall. So I'm going to shorten them a bit and try again until I get an angle that I'm happy with. So that's the central beam of the top of the roof. And then the same sort of rough spacing as the side, so that's six bits. So I've spaced them out roughly, it does work. And then these ones are the length. These are just me uh, templates. So I need to cut myself 12 bits of wood the length of the template. So that's the roof laid out on the floor. So that's one section. And I'll build the other one over here. So what I've done 
is these central ones are the same length and the outer ones if you come around here are slightly longer so that this piece can screw into here to hold the roof on and then we can cut them with the jigsaw once they're in situ and now we've got to put the cross sections across and then replicate it over here and this bit of timber on the back is just to keep them straight because we'll be using that bar there for the central part of the roof. So that's both sides of the roof done and just tacked on at the edges which I'll show you. So that's uh, one side of the roof and what I've done is I've put one screw there to hold that in place until we can fit it together properly. Same on the other side and then that means that if I go down and lift that it goes into the kind of roof shape. So that's what I meant. So these give you a bit of a swivel and then uh, that's what it looks like obviously unassembled in the ground and then the last bit is this pole it's gonna go in the middle there like a that So there we go, a slightly wonky, rustic, but an arbor full of character for less than 30 quid. I enjoyed building it. Hopefully it might inspire you to build one for your garden or your off-grid property. So thanks very much for watching and thanks as always for your likes and subscribes. Really appreciated, especially your comments. So let us know what you think of our 30 quid arbor. 
and uh, again thanks very much for watching and we'll see you in a few days cheers